mean, it's been absolutely life-changing to take a character through eight years of evolution. I mean, it's just been brilliant, you know. I'm incredibly grateful. I remember very clearly the pilot we shot in Scotland and I was like, this could just be a pilot, you know what I mean? Another job that, that doesn't go anywhere, but you make the most of it. Yeah, I remember everybody clearly. I remember baby Sophie and baby Maisie and baby Isaac. And now they're, you know, out there full grown. There's so many people I haven't had chance to, to work with, but Pete and Nikolai, I love working with them and Charles Dance and Jack Gleason and Conleth. I think those were my kind of nucleus and I loved every minute with each of them. It's gonna make me cry. As an actor, you work and work and work and you audition and you don't get parts and you do get parts and sometimes they're great experiences and sometimes they're really shitty. Um, and this has been incredible. I've had such great material to work with. Every time I open a script, I was like, oh my God, I, I have, you know, for me personally, just to play these moments has been really extraordinary and good fun. I really enjoyed the scene with Mark Addy way back in season one, just because it was so intense and it was like pages and pages long and it was really unexpected from those two characters to be that kind of intimate and honest. Sometimes I don't know what holds it together. Our marriage. <laughs> you get a glimpse into her marriage with Robert Baratheon and it sort of goes some way to explaining who Cersei is and why she then behaves how she does. Was it ever possible for us? Was there ever a time, ever a moment? No. My advice to Cersei, <laughs> if you meet a man called the High Sparrow, steer fucking clear of him. Am I free to go? After your atonement. Do you remember Dontos, who was like the clown? I've been begging Michelle for ages. He had this amazing hat that she made that I'm still obsessed with, but I think it's gone somewhere. But I was every every year I was like, can I can I just have it? And she's like, no. I was like, oh. But that's the one thing I would love to have that hat. We're nearly at the end now. I mean, I've got very few days left, and I think I'm gonna feel very emotional about saying goodbye to all of it. The joy of coming back and seeing everybody again. You know, everyone's become family now, and it's all very familiar in the best way. Yeah, it's gonna be very strange without it. It's been eight years, you know. I'll miss it. <laughs>